Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, to get into the spirit of Halloween, no pun intended, you know, because Halloween, dead things, creepy ghosts, spirits, haha, <laughs> funny, not really, whatever. Um, I'm going to be carving pumpkins and doing sort of like a tutorial on how to do it. Um, now I wouldn't actually recommend following my tutorial because it's probably going to be god awful because uh, I haven't carved a pumpkin since I was like 11 or something ridiculous like that and I'm not the most artsy of people so but we shall see how this goes. So first things first, you want to get a pumpkin obviously and you want to well, you don't have to get a big one, you can get a little one. They had little ones on sale for a quid at the shop that I went to, uh, the co-op. Uh, this one's a bit bigger though, it costs two pounds, because I'm a baller baller, uh, big spender, you know, that's just how I roll. So the second step of uh, the whole pumpkin carving business will be to actually cut the top of your pumpkin off and then take out all the guts from inside. Uh, so basically you think of it like, head and you're removing all the brains like you're a zombie. More Halloween festive fun right there. Just pretend you're doing that. Or, you know, don't because that's really macabre and gross and creepy. So first off, you'll want to get a big old sharp kitchen knife such as this and uh, begin slicing and dicing away there. Obviously, uh, for those of you who are youngsters, I would recommend getting an adult to do this part. Luckily, I am an adult, so theoretically, I can do this myself. Here goes, let's hope this doesn't end in blood and tears. Oh god, it's leaking. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's all sticky. Now, you want to try and get this at a relatively straight angle, and uh, not like mine, which is all over the place, and I think I've cut way too much off the top there. And my knife is stuck. This is going fantastically well. <laughs> uh, my pumpkin's really slippery now, as it's bleeding all over the place. So I've uh, managed to cut through the main bit of it, so I'm just going to rip the top off. Like so. Mm, that could have been better. It's not exactly level, but hey ho. I hope I've given myself enough space to work with here. Eh, should be big enough. Here's hoping. Right, next up, you want to get a big spoon like this one, and also a bowl to put all your pumpkin innards into, like this one. And what you want to do is basically just go ahead and start scraping all of the guts and the seeds out of the top of your pumpkin and in the main body of the pumpkin as well. Now, some of you may want to hold on to the innards as you'd probably be able to make a nice pumpkin soup out of it. I, however, am not going to be doing that. I'm just gonna chuck all the guts away. So, here we go, into the main body. Also, let me just add a note here. It's probably best if you get some sort of protective cover over the surface you're working on, a tablecloth or some sort of plastic matting. Uh, I haven't put any such thing down, so I'm making a massive mess right now. Oh my God, this is so gross. I mean, you don't have to use the spoon, you can easily just use your hands as a pumpkin and should uh, come away quite easily. Oh, it sounds so squidgy and gross. Actually, I'm finding it a bit easier just to use my hands and just use the spoon to get any little resistant parts off. Here's a Halloween joke for all you jokers aren't there. Why didn't the skeleton go to the party? <laughs> What's that I hear you say? Because he had no body to go with? 
No, because he's a skeleton, he's dead. Skeletons don't go to parties. When have you ever been to a skeleton and just saw a skeleton, I mean, gone to a party and just seen a skeleton casually walking about? Because I definitely haven't. But if you have, uh, please feel free to give me a call because I would love to go to that party. Oh, did you hear that? This is kind of what I imagine the womb to be like. Maybe minus the seeds, though. Okay, so once you've finished hollowing out your pumpkin, it should look something like this. And it's so slippery. Uh, now, I won't be winning any pumpkin competitions, but that's okay. And besides, it doesn't really matter if the inside's not perfect because no one's going to be lifting their lid and checking out the pumpkin anyway. Well, they shouldn't be. I mean, they're a bit OCD if they are. Like, oh, inside your pumpkin is incorrectly hollowed out. I'm going to call the pumpkin police. Okay, so once you've got the really messy part out of the way, you're going to want to either hold on to your pumpkin in it and make a soup out of that or a stew or whatever you want. Probably can't make a stew out of it. I don't know. I'm not a chef. Or you can just chuck it away, as I'm going to do. And then you're going to wash your hands. Uh, you're going to want to wash your hands because your hands will probably, at this point, if you haven't been using a spoon like I have, are uh, just going to be absolutely messy and slimy and gross. So I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, so for this next part, you're going to want your stencil. Here I have Charizard, uh, the Pokemon. And something sharp like a thumbtack will do. So as you can see there, I've got a little thumbtack in the shape of a rubber duck. Very cute. Doesn't have to be as cute as that. You can just use a regular thumbtack, like you put in a cork board or something like that. Basically, you just want something short, sharp, and simple. And then you're going to want to basically get your stencil into position, like so. Probably a good idea to sellotape it. Uh, so I'm gonna go grab some tape and then we shall begin sticking the tack into the pumpkin. Sadly, I couldn't find any tape, so we're just going to have to go ahead and use blue tack instead. Should pretty much work, same basis, something sticky, right? Now you may want to cut slash rip your stencil just to make your life a little bit easier rather than using a whole A4 piece of paper as I was trying to do just then. Scratch that last step about blue tack because apparently blue tack does not stick to pumpkins. The more you know. So tape it is then. And there was some tape the whole time sitting not one meter away from me. And um, once you've stuck it on it should look something like that but hopefully if you're doing it at home it's a little bit better because this is quite haphazard. And then you'll literally just want to follow the lines of your image and just tack around and then that basically gives you like a little guideline to follow when it comes to the actual cutting part of the pumpkin. Cut carving part of the pumpkin. Pumpkin carving. Now the important thing about pumpkin carving isn't about having the best pumpkin in the world, it's just about having fun. Now I'd suggest uh, to those of you who have friends, unlike myself, uh, actually get a couple of your friends together and just like have a carving pumpkin party. My cousin's doing that at university, she did last night, so, but you know, stick some tunes on and just you know, get your kitchen knives out, have a blast. So when it comes to your stencil, you don't actually have to draw it. You can easily uh, just as well print it off. In fact, that might be easier than drawing it yourself if you don't have very good drawing skills like myself. And yeah, I went ahead and decided to uh, go ahead and draw anyway, but hey ho. It just adds a, that tiny bit more fun to the whole pumpkin carving experience. Okay, so once you're done with your stencil, then you're just gonna wanna chuck it away. And surprisingly, if mine turned out not too shabby. I don't know whether you can see that or not. There's a thing, ah, there we go. What do you think? That, that looks vaguely like a Charizard, if I do say so myself. So now you have your guideline, you're gonna wanna start cutting out. Now, if you're just doing something simple, like a face or something, then you can just go at it with a knife. However, um, if you're going for something a little bit more complex like I am, um, what I'm going to do is use a knife to carve out certain parts, 
but you use a peeler, like what you would peel potatoes with, for example, and um, peel other parts away so you get like different shades and tones, basically. Um, which I know sounds really, really complicated and it probably won't turn out too epic, but we're gonna give it a go, so here we go. So you'll want something looking a little bit like that and you just sort of scrape away. So <clears throat> this is definitely gonna be the hardest part, so you're gonna want to take quite a lot of time uh, just making sure that you do this all properly and uh, don't mess it up. So here we go. Look, it's starting to make way already. Oh, but this is so exciting. I can't wait for it to get dark. I'll uh, show everyone what it's like once it gets dark. Because it's gonna be pretty awesome. I feel like I need a smaller knife because this is very hard to do detail with as it's just a bloody massive it's bigger on my face. I feel like life would be a lot easier if you use a small knife, tiny one, smaller than my face, um, and do it like this instead of using a giant one like that. But that's just me. Okay, it's done. And I'm not gonna lie, it's it's not the best pumpkin I've ever seen in my life. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, is that even recognisable? It's terrible hard. A little bit. Oh god, it's leaking wax. It looks like he's bleeding. Oh no. I don't know, I can kind of see it actually. It looks better when it has a candle in it, it's dark. You know what? From a distance. Maybe not actually. From a middle distance. It looks alright. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Now, of course, if this is your first time carving pumpkins, or maybe your first time, like me, in a long time carving pumpkins, then you might want to start off with something a little bit more basic than trying to do a charizard, or else you're going to end up with something like this, unless you are remarkably skilled and talented, which I am not. Uh, so, you know, you can just stick with the traditional scary faces, or switch it up a bit, or a good idea for little kids especially is getting, like, cookie cutters and um, just like hammering cookie cutters into it so, and you can have like different animal shapes like all around the pumpkin or for little kids, well no not even little kids but you know if you don't want to go around weaving, wielding a big knife around, don't wield knives like this kid, um, just paint a pumpkin, that's always a good idea, you can always just paint it. So, I mean, it's really up to you what you do with your pumpkin, you know, let your creative juices flow and uh, do whatever the frick you like, really. So uh, I'm going to cut to a couple of hours from now when it's a bit darker and we'll see this beauty in all its beauty. So here we have it, the finished result. It's not too bad if I do see something myself. I think it's recognisable as like at least a dragon shaped figure if not Charizard himself, but... <laughs> Where we make Charizard look epic, because I'm gonna make it look like there's a flamethrower coming out of his mouth. So, uh, I wouldn't recommending, recommend doing this part of the tutorial, because it may go horribly wrong. If you do attempt it, make sure you do have adult supervision, as always, and uh, have the bucket, bucket of water with you, just in case. So, what you need is... Uh, one whole toilet roll, a box of matches, and some kerosene or paraffin or equivalent. So what you want to do is put the whole toilet roll straight into your pumpkin, and it's kind of good that I made a massive uh, slot on the top then rather than the usual small one. And you're gonna add, want to add about a quarter of a litre to it. So, here we go. Okay, so you're gonna want to add about a quarter uh, quarter of a litre anyway and try not to spray it all over yourself or else you'll set yourself on fire when you do light it that should be enough and you're also want, gonna want to do this where nothing else around it can catch fire and 
And nope, that failed miserably. Okay, second attempt. Here we go, here we go. It's catching. Oh, oh my gosh, it's everything I ever dreamed and more. Oh, wow. Look how awesome my Charizard pumpkin turned out. Charizard used flavor, it's super effective. Whoa. Okay, and that's all from me from this uh, DIY trying. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a future video. Happy Halloween everyone, have a fantastic time, and yeah, see you again soon. Bye!